Hey there guys, thanks for joining us on another board gaming night. Uh, tonight we're playing King Domino from Collider Spring Games. Uh, Coiled Spring. Or, or Coiled Spring <laughs> rather. <laughs> and um, the designers are Bruno Cathala and the artist is Cyril Bouquet. Alright, so with me tonight I have Dave. Hello. Uh, Martin, this is his copy of the game. And Tony. Hello. And myself Jason. Right, so we're going to give you a quick overview of the game, uh, and then we'll show you some gameplay, showing you how the game flows and how it uh, plays, uh, and then uh, we'll do a verdict at the end where we tell you what we thought and uh, who won. So to begin with, each player gets a little capital castle uh, and a starting tile. The starting tile is wild, so you can connect any other type of terrain to it, and your castle kind of forms your center, but it doesn't have to necessarily be the center. Then, randomly determined, um, players have their token piece, um, so for example, uh, who went first? Was it Me. Tony? And you chose this bottom one? Yep. So he chose the bottom one, which is obviously giving him a forest and an ocean tile. Uh, I think then Martin went next, mm -hmm. and then I went, and then... Um, Dave was what was left. Dave got what was left. And why that's relevant is because that'll determine who chooses from the next row. And these are all taken out of the box, and they have initiative numbers at the back, so that'll seed how they determine out and you'll see that in the gameplay turn so for example when the game starts i will take this tile and i'll connect it to my kingdom and i can connect it up as you can imagine like so or so and i can change it around exactly and it forms a is it a four by four grid? Five, five by five grid so you can't go outside of that and you get bonus points if your kingdom is in the middle and what other points do you get you get um 10 bonus points if you've got um the castle in the middle and you get five bonus points if you've completed the entire five by five grid and obviously you get points based on the various the, things the crowns times by so the crowns are the multipliers mm. so for example in this situation if i had like that i would obviously get... he can't do that it would have to be yeah that. <laughs> so i've got three forests divided times by the one crown which is three points mm. And obviously the more crowns you get, the more multipliers you can get. I'm not going to mess all this up now, but... So, in this example, like I was saying, I choose this one, and then I can place my meeple down on any one of these. So, for example, I could go there, which means I would be third in the next choice, and so on, and so on. Yeah, the tiles tend to get, as the numbers get higher, they tend to get better, more crowns, and things like that. And it's basically similar to domino rules. I mean, you have double tiles, multiple tiles like this. You connect them up, and they... The, the more tiles of the same type you connect together, the more you can potentially get that multiplier. And that's pretty much it. That's a really simple little quick game. Uh, it shouldn't last that much longer. So we're going to get started. We'll play maybe a round or two. Do you know how many rounds it is? About five? Uh, there's 48 to so 12, I guess. Okay. Or 11 if you don't count this one. So we'll do a couple of rounds and then we'll come back to you and show you how the game flows. All right, let's go. Got 10 points already, Jason. Well, yeah. Um, so welcome back to the gameplay team. Um, we've had it three, maybe four rounds. Um, so you can see, there's my kingdom. Uh, this is Sherwood Forest. This is Tony's. It's got kind of a Viking thing going on here. Uh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's to Martin's. Um, yeah, I'm in the desert. Saudi Arabia over there. <laughs> and uh, we've already chosen, uh, obviously, from the. Now we're going to show you, like, so Martin's going to take out the next tiles and seed them so you can see. So they go from lowest to highest. And then starting with the with the blue guy, he gets to choose first. Hey, hey, hey. I will go to the second one. This one yeah. here? Yep. Okay, so then he takes oh, no, yeah. takes his tile and adds it to his kingdom. Where are you gonna put it, man? Where are you gonna put it? That's you don't be taking my forest tiles, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, and then Dave. So he's gonna be choosing the last in the next round. Uh, making more deserts. Yeah. You've just scored for the deserts now, haven't you? Or well, wheat fields, actually. Yeah, they, are, they look mm. like deserts. <laughs> yeah, you just have a windmill in this. Yeah, that's what just, just ticked me off now. It's you, like, well, oh. you, you tend not to grind the sand. Depends how desperate you are, I suppose. Uh, what's Martin putting it in? Okay, and then obviously I get left with what it is. And I'm going to put... I don't, want to go like, I don't want to go like that. That's really cutting me off like that. So I think I'm just going to put it in like that. Alright, let me see the next one. Ooh, 
that's interesting. That's <sighs> oh dear God, what the hell am I going to do here? So... the one I wanted. I think I'll do that. Okay. Blue. Mm. Yeah, you're going to get left with what's left, Jason. <laughs> yeah. Although well, Dave is. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Oh, so you're definitely going to get forest. Dave. Well, I love yeah. the scoring water forest. Scoring water forest. So, don't get it. guess you'll go for the top one, isn't it? I am, yeah. That means your water tiles are going to be times two now, Tone. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have that many of them, though. <sighs> Connected. Obviously, I'm taking that one. I can either take the caves down at the bottom there, or this one. I'm just going to go there. And then I'm going to add this in like that. So you can see, that water tile is worth one point on its own, isn't it? Because it's one yep. water down. Yeah, you actually stand to make a fairly good point out of this, Dave. If it's you're keeping it everything... You don't have to keep it central, no. though. You get ten points if you've got your castle in the centre. That, by the way, ten, is a... Ten, said five. Um, fuck, I can't remember now. It, I can never remember which one's which. Ah, five by five, five. five. Yeah, right. Centre of town, not sure. Yeah, remember. Middle Kingdom's ten. Yeah, five by five. And the five by five is five. But get those together and big point. Dave's thinking hard, yeah. Uh, that's not allowed, I don't think. Why not? No, it's more than five out. It's not going to be contained. Oh, yeah, I suppose, yeah. But it's not going to be central, yeah. No. Um, just to say yeah. as well, if you get a target, it means you can't go. You just ditch it. <clears throat> Which means, obviously, then you, you won't get the bonus, the yeah. Oh, Tony, double water. Oh, is it going to survive? Oh, my goodness. I've got some really heavy decisions to make here now. Because, as it says now at the moment, I'm first choice. I could take the double blue water, which would score me two points. But a forest water would be nice as well. Although, I don't have a place where I can link them up very easily. Or do I? Oh, I do actually. The door's agreeing with me. <laughs> oh man, I think. Oh Jesus, this is. I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna take that one. And I think I've got to tricky neck this now. Oh, your door doesn't shut. Oh, I don't know how to connect this to that will match up with that one. I could put it like that. I thought you were going to go for the double water. I would put, put the forest there, double water up here, and then pray. Yeah, <laughs> pray for another <laughs> double water. I was t kind of tempted, but I wanted... Gone! I Death or glory! I wanted the extra forest. Oh, that's dumb. I don't know. Yeah, death or glory, take the double water instead. <laughs> <laughs> Go up the side! Who came next? Is it you? You're not going to want the double water, are you? It's Tony's going to want the double water. I would consider taking the double water. Oh man. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. No, I'm just going to stick that there. I'm done. You know what? Chicken shit, you are. I'm going to... I think that's going to go there. So... Take the double water? Fuck it, I will. <laughs> I'll have the water forest then. I thought you'd probably take that anyway, if I'm honest. Yeah. Oh, I've got the water forest then, I've got the water forest. Oh man. Do I just totally blow the chance of being it in the middle? Because really, this is like a 15 20 minute game. We could have actually performed the whole game. Yeah, I did think that, but. Mm. Come 
smart and hard at work over there with the door. Oh, that's very irritating. <laughs> can't believe you lost your door though. Well, silly me, I thought it just shut. Apparently not. It's because they've got the Christmas uh, decorations okay. still hanging Let's on it. Well, I know, it's June. <laughs> <laughs> right, Dave, you got the last one. Oh, July even. Again. Oh, it is now, yeah. 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 And there you go. That's another round done. Oh, Jesus. So, I think Dave might win this. Yeah. <laughs> it seems to be just getting stuck. We're stuck with yeah, really we're... high scoring points. <laughs> <clears throat> right, we're going to finish off the game and we'll come back to you in a sec. Alrighty, so we finished off the game and uh, we've worked out who has won. So, in last place. And I'll let you guys guess. Tony's playing, so he's last. Hey. <laughs> hey. How many points did you get, Tony? 32. 32. And let's have a look at Tony's kingdom. Eight for the forest, 20 for the sea. Yeah, the sea came over. Two. Two. Uh, you lost the bonus points because that's not in the centre of his kingdom and he hasn't got, um, got full 5x5 five five grid. Uh, so he's lost. I'm third with 48, and that's my kingdom right there. That's I, a shame if you do. Yeah. I got <clears> stuck <throat> with a freaking desert tile. Uh, which I couldn't obviously slot in anywhere, so that cost me the um, game. Yeah, <laughs> well, it did because if you'd have got that, you'd have had the bonus five there, plus assuming that would have given you more points. That, oh, well, yeah, um, but yeah, so my, my kingdom's pretty good. So I got good forestry, good ocean. I got the Loch Ness monster in the ocean, but I got uh, 48 points, which is not bad. Uh, then second place is Dave. Uh, with 49 points, beaten by one point. And point out what one? It's the friggin' forest that you forest. stole from me. <laughs> you also for, didn't manage to um, for, full up the full grid, and he's obviously his kingdom's not in the center of his kingdom. But so. he has some extremely valuable tiles. Yeah, I mean, it's basically, Dave's basically a dwarf. If he could have linked these, he would have smashed us. Yeah. I yeah. got 49 points with no bonuses. That's really yeah. good. And then, of course, Martin is the winner. Well done, Martin. Uh, and I've just got fields. Yeah. <laughs> crops. Yeah, you got the full complement well, of bonuses. Big desert. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. crop. They yeah. are, they're apparently, they're, yeah. they're supposed cool. to be little crop. crop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well she would never I had 11 uh, tiles of those with three crowns, so 33 points from those. And of course, you got the full bonuses of centre and 5x5 five five grid. Yeah. And you were at 58 points, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, 52, I think. No, 50, oh, I can't remember now. So, like, what did I say it was? 50 something. Yeah. Either way, he's won. <laughs> Yay! And that is a full game of King yeah, Domino. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> so, let's have a quick chat with what we got. Martin's the winner, and he's played this a few times. Let's have. have a quick chat. What do you think? I think it's a great filler. It takes about 15 minutes, maybe. Yeah. Um, there's plenty to think about in there. Um, what's not to like, really? I think it's excellent. Um, I, I think it's a complete game. I don't think you need to add anything to it. I think you could play it with kids as well things like that the the five and ten point sort of complete um area and central castle thing is a variant or optional rule or whatever but i think it's better because it just gives you something to aim for um but yeah i mean that's literally the only complexity in there i think it's great and it's cheap you know couldn't really be happier with it the domino is a nice uh you know nice and thick card that's it i wouldn't change a thing that's how much that, how much out of ten i think it's uh an eight Cool. Well done. Uh, you first play for you, isn't it? Yeah, first play. I saw you playing it briefly when I popped on the other night, but yeah, Martin's pretty much summed it up. It is simple. Uh, the bonus points do make a big, big difference. I mean, I got second place with no bonuses and mm. was beaten marginally by Martin. She got better, full man. bonus. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get any bonuses either. Oddly enough. For me in this game, I was going last most times, and you were just leaving all of these, I guess the mines, because yeah, you have lots mines, of yeah. things, and that's where all my points came from. Like you say, if I'd have had them connected, I'd have smashed yeah, it's you. Interesting. We, we didn't play so much in this particular particular game of, uh, well, he's got that, he's got this, so I'm going to deny him that. Mm. It was just like, I want this, so I'm yeah. going to go there. Well, that's the thing, I mean, you can do either one, can't you? Yeah. you can, this benefits me more. But that one benefits him more, so I'm going to deny him that. Mm. And I think Tony may have done that once, once which, the end, which basically screwed you over. And yeah. also, thanks a lot, Tony. You cost me the win. Yeah. You did actually. Because <laughs> if you got something in there, but it was an option where there was n there were no good one, choices for you. There were no good choices for mm. me, so it was. Yeah, I mean, you you forcing me to have all these was what 
dictated my build hmm? because I wasn't collecting them at first. I had them, and I thought, well, you know, the forests they were there. If I thought of connecting the grid, but it was the, the fields and the mud. And huts. I think I think the way that kind of tile Pursuing. drafting sort of thing works is really clever as well. I was going to say, I think it's really clever because I don't know the, how they figured it out that it comes out in that sort of order and it makes it balanced is really yeah, clever. Yeah, well, it's, as I say, the, the bigger the number, the generally, the, be, the better the tiles are, but obviously then you're more likely to go last. It's only when you get a lot of high tiles come out that you might have a first pick and still have a great tile. But, yeah. I mean, the, the sort of first half a dozen tiles seem to be like doubles with nothing on them and things like that, you know, basically crap. Which I kind of picked up most of. Yeah, but I mean, we've also, all got some. It also shows, I mean, they, they, they were saying that he he's the first time he played it and he didn't have to choose a lot and still did well so mm. pretty balanced game well and i like the fact that he hasn't completed his five by five and he hasn't got the central castle and he's still got a, a competitive squeeze and within nine points of the leaders sort of yeah. which is going second place which is cool I, I think that's good so it shows that the bonus points are good but they're not essential you know game if you miss them it doesn't mean you're not going to win which is nice how much would you give it out of 10 Dave? probably a seven seven yeah, yeah it's, it's cool. a solid seven um I don't know if it's got a lot of replayability. Like you said, it's a very much of a filler game, but I don't know how many times I could play it before. I'll be like, yeah, I've had enough of this now. I, I mean, it's, it's very simple. I will say my eight is based on it being a filler. It's yeah. not, you know, it's not Great Western Trail or something. It's, you know, it's still only a fifteen-minute filler game, but as a filler game, it's an eight-hour yeah. filler game. And luckily, you know. the fact that in our groups we don't play a game twice in a month. I played it six <laughs> times. <now, so. laughs> how about you, Tone? Well, there's hardly anything more to say. It is a very good sort of little aperitif to start your gaming night. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, bush. Yes, yes. Um, nice, easy. Not much thinking there. You can't have a grand strategy. You have to respond to the, the tiles as they came out and the ones that other people leave you. And I pretty much for an aperitif, filler game, whatever you like to call it, I'd go for an eight on that basis of what it is. It do, you guys, do you guys think they'll do an expansion for this? Maybe, but as I say, I don't think it's needed. No, it's not, but it'll be interesting to see how, what they do for that. Uh, yeah. Well, the, I mean, the, they'd almost have to, because the, the unless they added additional rounds, although I don't know how they would do that, they'd probably have to do... 6 by 6 grid, perhaps? Alternate tiles, sort of things like this, and a, a different one, a different two, that sort of thing. Oh. Um, in a two-player game, by the way, you have two guys and you do a seven by seven grid. So um, you do play with less players. You do play with a bigger thing, which is interesting, I think. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if they will. No, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think it needs. I, don't, an I, I think it's one of those games that they they would have made their money off from the fact that this sold really well as a small little filler game. Mm. And from my perspective as well, I think it's quite cool. Um, I think it gives you enough options when you're playing for the 15-20 minute game that it is. It's super light, but super fun. And uh, it has some interesting little quirks, like uh, I've got the Loch Ness here, Martin had a dragon on his, I think. Some uh, other dragon. And there's different options you can choose, I mean, depending on what the players leave you with or what you're trying to build. Um, going for the bonus objectives is interesting. So it's a really fun little game, good, good components, nice little cheap box, um, not a very expensive game, we're looking at about 15 to 20 bucks. Or pounds. Yes, we are <laughs> in England. It was, it was 12 it is cheapest at the expo, which is a bargain, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah for 12 pounds. Definitely for 12 pounds. That's really, really well, good. We've been calling it a filler game because we're quite an experienced group, but it's a really good starter game. Yes, yeah, really I agree. Really good gateway game, starter, in, in children's Yeah, as well. really good for families as well. Really yeah. It's the families. best Domino's game I've ever played. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So for me, I'd give it, for that sort of category game, I'd give it 7.5. I really like it. I'd play this anytime someone asked. And uh, I would even buy my own copy because it's that good. It's really good. So there you go. That's King Domino from Quill Spring Games. Yeah, not Collided uh, Spring. And, uh, Collided Spring. By Bruno <laughs> Cathala, who obviously yeah. does really good quality games. Yes. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye.